Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. In this video we're going to show you how to change the frequency on a VBDI BE smart key. This is for the FBS3 systems. They come from the manufacturer set to 433 megahertz, which is the default frequency for this particular board. And in the US, most of the cars that we're going to encounter are going to be 315 megahertz. So we need to change the frequency of the transmitter in this key. This can be done one of two ways. It can be done either by using your VBDI MB in the software and changing it that way electronically, if you will. Or you can also remove a component from the circuit board of the key. So when you order the key from us, this VBDI BE smart key, it's going to come packaged in this um, material here and it's going to be just a bare circuit board and in this particular video we've actually assembled that circuit board into an X-Horse key shell and the reason why we've done that is so that you could see the disassembly and reassembly of this key shell and you could see the frequency changing of the PCB as well. So let's show you how to disassemble this key shell. First step is to take out the emergency key. like so. The next step is to remove these sides and you slide them, slide them off. I'm sliding this way. So that leaves this end cap and you have to be careful. This little piece will actually uh, come loose when you take the end cap off and you could lose it. But the way in which you get it apart is you take uh, some sort of tool you want in here and you just push that release there, push this release on this side, and then the whole end should come off. And as if you see, the little um, latch that holds the emergency key in did pop out, so be careful, you don't wanna lose that. Take the end cap off, and then just separate the shell. And there is our BE key. And again, it would have come in a package like this, that would have been packaged in here. So on this key right here is a component and it's marked FRE. That is the frequency changing resistor. And so with that resistor in circuit, this uh, key is 433 megahertz. And out of circuit, it's going to be uh, 315 megahertz. So we're converting it to work with the vehicles here in the US. Now you can do this any way that works good for you. And I'm gonna to try to do this in the camera for you. So all I've got is a soldering iron and I have pre-tinned it slightly. And by that, I mean I put a small amount of solder on it, reach down here and flip this resistor up. My apologies, it's a bit tough to do in the camera. But as you see, if you're very careful, you can just flip it off the board there. You could also use tweezers to get it off the board if you want. You wanna make sure that you don't apply too much heat and that you don't actually tear these contacts off the board. That way, if you ever had a need to convert this back to 433 megahertz, you could. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to reassemble this key into the key shell. So we've got the top half of the key shell here. Flip it over. You're gonna insert the board into the shell. The IR lens did come out. You just need to make sure that it's seated back in there properly. I take the second half of the key and you gently snap it together. Make sure that the IR window and everything is in place. So now you're looking for a nice good fit. Then you take the cap which we took off previously here. And as you notice, the hold down for the emergency key actually came out. So we're gonna put this back in. Make sure that spring is tucked in there like so. Then we're gonna put the cover back on. And then we have to put the release back in that came out. Make 
make sure it's in there firmly and make sure it actually has spring and springs back. And then we are to slide these side caps back on. And then lastly, we could put the emergency key back in. All right, so there you go. So that is disassembly and reassembly of an X-Horse uh, Mercedes BE key shell, and then the frequency change on the uh, same PCB for the VVDI BE smart key for FBS3 systems. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply.